hello guys welcome back to the channel and i got request for this lab so here is the solution of this lab and this lab is very easy but little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention for this lab so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here click on the check box and then just simply click on agree and continue now just me wait and now here just me search for the vertex ai now just me open this thing new tab and just me come back over here now just me wait now just me click on this enable all recommendation api just me click over here and then just me click on this workbench over here now this thing is going to take a couple of seconds so just me wait for that and now just me click on this user manage notebook just me click over there and wait and it's done now here you can see open jupyter lab just me click over here now it is going to take a couple of minutes to launch a jupyter notebook so just me wait for that and it's finally done now here you can see generative ai folder just simply click, double click over there then just simply click on this gemini folder over here and then just simply click on this getting started folder over here like this way now here you can see this last file intro gemini underscore python this file so just simply double click over here like this way now if you are using a jupyter notebook for first time so for running a shell or you can say command you can just simply click on this play button over here like this way or you can just simply hit shift and enter button like this way but before running any shell or any command you have to make sure of one thing that your kernel status must be ideal so if we just simply hover over here and from here you can see the kernel status showing as ideal if your kernel status showing as a busy so then you have to just simply wait until it show as the ideal okay now just me come back to the lab instructions and just me click on the task number one now just me scroll down and from here you can see this project id so just me copy this project id copy like this do not copy this last full stop so just me copy like this way come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see project id so just me replace your project id with this like this way then just me copy this location so just me copy like this do not copy this last full stop just simply copy like this way come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way and just simply make sure that there is no extra space okay now just simply scroll up over here so we are done with all this configuration so just simply scroll down now here you can see getting started so just simply click over here now if you want you can just simply click on this play button or you can just simply hit shift and enter button like this way and if you just simply run this over here so from here you can see the kernel set is showing as a busy so now we have to just simply wait until this kernel set is show as the ideal so as you can see now the kernel set is showing as the ideal now what you do just simply scroll down now what you do we have to just simply restart the kernel so just simply run this command like this way just simply wait and then you will get a this kind of pop-up now just simply click on this ok over here like this way now if we just simply hover over here and after waiting for at least 5 to 10 seconds and after that if your status showing as ideal then only you have to run the next command and make sure that you don't have to run all shell at a time because if you try to run all shell at a time then you might face unnecessary error and because of that you are not able to get a green tick on the task number 3 or the task number 4 so make sure that you have to run one shell at a time so just simply follow the way i'm doing this lab okay now just simply scroll down now just simply hit shift and enter like this way just simply click over here now just simply okay run shift enter like this way and from here you can see from down here you can just simply take the kernel status or from here you can just simply cross verify so the kernel status showing as the ideal so we can run the next command just simply run that now the kernel status is busy and it's ideal now now run this and it's ideal now run this and it's ideal now run this now here you can see the kernel status is busy so just simply wait and now it's ideal now again just me run this so it's busy now and just again it's ideal now just me run this so it's busy and it's ideal again now just me run this so it's busy now and it's ideal again now just me run this so it's busy now and it's ideal again now just me run this and it's ideal now just me run this and it's ideal now just me run this and it's ideal now again just me run this so it's busy now So it's ideal now now run this 
is busy now and it's ideal again now just simply run this is busy now and it's ideal again now just simply run this so it's busy now and it's ideal again now just simply run this last two commands and it's ideal again so if we just simply check over here so as you can see after running each and every shell i will not get any kind of error but sometime what happen it's just for example let's suppose if we run this shell so what happened you have run this shell okay and at that point you might get an error over here if you face that kind of error you don't have to worry about that what you have to just simply click over here and again just simply rerun that shell you have to perform this step again and again until you get the output as i shown in the video okay so no need to worry about that and once you're done with all these shells now what you do just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the each and every task you will get a green tick over here without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure so just simply wait and watch So as you can see, I got a green tick on the each and every task without any issue and on my first step. But sometime what happened on particular task, let's suppose on this particular task, you are waited for at least five minutes. And after that, still not able to get a green tick over here. So you don't have to worry about that. And I know this thing is going to happen because when I tried this lab previously, this same thing is happening with me. On particular task, I was not able to get a green tick. So just for the example, let's suppose you are not getting a green tick on this particular task so what you do just simply read this task name generate text from the text and the image prompt so just simply come back over here and just simply check for that task over here so here you can see generate text from text and image and this both are the same so basically what you do you have to just simply rerun that shell again like this way just simply run all this shell okay like this way so we had run both the shells now again just me come back over here and click on that check my progress and just me wait for more five minutes and if you're still not able to get a green tick on that particular task and again just simply read this thing again so that's the way you can complete that task and that's it for this video if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys